in the great state of Tennessee, one of my favorites. Why? Well, home of Jack Daniels, the Grand Ole Opry, and some killer barbecue. Now, I'm in Hendersonville, about 10 miles from Nashville, on the corner of Center Point and Main Street, to check out a joint that's got a ton of character and a bunch of stories. This is Center Point Barbecue. Brisket, corn on the cob, spicy red slaw. The best barbecue in the South. Full pork. This is authentic as you're gonna get. Everybody loves their barbecue. Because when it comes to smoking meat, owner Robert Duke doesn't mess around. You're the cleanest pit master I know. Well, I cleaned up for you. This is this my son, this... Sunday bass. And the smell coming from his three smoke pits is like a come and get it bell for the locals. Generally, I think you can smell it about a mile away. Just makes your taste buds want to drop by and eat it. Whether it's a full rack of ribs, smoky beef brisket, or one of Robert's down-home family traditions. Pulled pork. There's no other pulled pork around that even compares to it. This is the entire shoulder together. Okay. Not going to mess around. Bone in. We're going to make our marinades. Gallon mouth sauce. Two gallons of vinegar. Now what are we going to do? We're going to mop it and just, like I said, generously. Let's do a little rub. We'll do a little crazy pepper here. Let's crazy love, pepper. Let's love on it just a little bit. A little bit of salt, not much. And that's it. They don't Getting want salt. ready for smoke. What are we going to smoke it with? Shag bark hickory. Shag bark hickory. We get a lot of smoke out of it. That's, That's important. <laughs> Give me overalls. I'm staying. Ready to go. Let's go. Look at this monster. 225. 225. That's it. For 18 hours. Anything more than that to see it. We're going to cook fat side up, and it's just going to keep on basting itself as it turns. I got you. Hit it. Black as night. We're smoking. What is the yield you're getting off of this thing? At 50, 55. 55 percent. Right. It's ridiculous. <whistles> Look at the bark on that, man. Yeah. That is crazy. You want to bust this thing open? It ain't going to take much. So what we're going to do, we're just going to bust it down the middle, pull it back, just let it go, all right? We're going to let you get your own meat out of there. So if you want over here, or you want over here, or you want up here, it's your choice. Well, I'm going to take a little bit up here. That's the good part. I yeah. love that part right I there. like that up there where there's where there's more movement, you know, up in that. Oh, in that, oh there yeah, you go. You yeah. get oh, right up in oh, there. That's it. See that right in there? Peekaboo, I see oh, you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. There yeah. you go. That's what we're talking about. So it comes with a, a whole heap of the pickles. And what's that, a pancake? It's our cornbread patty. So I don't like putting my sauce on my meat. I like to have it there to dip. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. I got to tell you something. The pork has been cooked down to a point that you don't see very often. A little heat, a little sweet, right on your meat. Awesome job. That's what I think barbecue should taste like. The pulled pork is some of the best I've had anywhere. It just melts in your mouth. It is really good.